Shalom, family! God bless you all. Thank y'all for tuning in for today's property tour. And today we are at Bum Bum 2312 Chenault Drive here in Fresco, Texas. And we're going to be checking out this beautiful new construction home. All right, this is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom. 3,403 square feet, beautiful house, listed at 898,000. All right, and the listing agent is gonna be Rachel Elminia, all right, with United Real Estate. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Be sure to hit that thumb and thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, my friends. And as always, don't you forget, cause we got some good news headed your way towards the end of the video my friends all right so definitely stay tuned guys super excited to show you all this luxury two-story home all right and it does have that really nice modern elevation on the outside really nice beautiful fixtures on the inside they did an amazing job with some of the designs here so on my right hand side we're gonna have this nice little spacious study with the two massive windows, just bring a lot of that natural lighting. And now keep in mind, this is Frisco ISD, which is one of the greatest school districts in North Texas, guys. So very, very sought out school district. Okay. All right, and then on my left-hand side here, we got a nice little half bathroom with the single vanity. Beautiful, nice tile. Got these really nice golden uh, appliances, which is really cool. Beautiful light fixtures. And then you got your nice little coat closet here. So the layout is actually really unique because they actually have the master bedroom here as soon as you enter but we're going to check that out here in a bit i want to knock out the other parts of the home real quick so we got this formal dining room with this beautiful very unique elegant light fixtures very very nice three large windows all right so when you guys are having christmas thanksgiving this is the place where y'all are gonna gather up now i don't know about y'all but you know my, my family they're hispanic so you know this is the room you don't want to touch okay you leave it as is until next year guys <laughs> all right so oh come on now look at this stop playing got this beautiful gorgeous island with the quartz countertops you got this gorgeous modern life fixtures Lots of cabinet space here. Wow. And then check this out. Ooh, this is it right here, guys. The high voltage ceilings. Massive, massive ceilings. I think this maybe 15 to 20 feet high. Got this beautiful marble fireplace with that just really, really nice design color tones there. Beautiful living room. Got these gorgeous modern fans as well. Now the backyard isn't obviously too, too big, guys. We are in Frisco, so land out here is very scarce. So I'll tell you that much, guys. Um, it is very, very hard to find a lot of uh, new construction is going on in Frisco. Um, there's still some happening here and there. Some communities that are coming up, but it's a little farther north. Now, what you'll see here, you got this. Nice, beautiful island. And then you got the gas range stove, world wool appliances, five burner gas grill with this beautiful white tile backsplash. Got the golden handles there, got the hood vent as well. So when you're cooking up a storm, you know, it's gonna suck all those fumes. Got that double microwave, um, I'm sorry, the double oven with the microwave there. And then tucked away over here, we got that nice little pantry. All right, fridge is gonna go here. Okay. 
Now, these are really, really hard to come by, guys. Ooh, loving this modern staircase. Really, really nice design. But these new builds are really hard to come by, especially at this price point. Typically, like, I was actually surprised. I thought this home was going to be closer to, to a million, um, you know, especially it being in Frisco. But at eight ninety eight, it's actually not a bad pricing. Got a two-car garage right back here. Got that nice little alleyway so everybody comes in through that alleyway to park in their garage. And then... Let's check out that master suite. Wow. Oh, got this little mystery room here. Okay. Little little room here, maybe to gentlemen, maybe we could use that for our man caves or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll work on it. Uh, or you could just use it as storage. So you get the, the owner suite here, really nice, spacious, got a lot of windows, bring a lot of that natural lighting. Got this oversized king size bed, all right, with the double nightstands, which is really cool. So enough space for that. And then you got this beautiful electric fireplace here. Very, very nice. I'm gonna show my wife this. She's like, oh my gosh, I love this home. And the location, guys, I'm telling you, like, Frisco is definitely the place to be. Like, Lord willing, you know, by God's grace, we're gonna hopefully move out here to Frisco in a couple of years. Um, cause right now we're, we're near rock wall and it's, I'm not gonna lie guys. It's a tough drive, man. Traffic can get really hectic out there. All right. So you got these beautiful, nice tile all throughout, all the way up to the ceilings, which is really a nice touch up. A lot of builders don't do that, but they decided to do that. Got that privacy glass window, oversized garden tub. You got this beautiful stand up shower with the rain shower head. You also have the, you know this little doohickey thing which would be detachable shower head now don't like the fact that it only has one i wish it had two because keep in mind ladies and gentlemen when you only have one shower head it is world war three guys got your toilet here got this nice massive closet and what i mean by world war three guys is you know my wife and i right now we got one shower head and it is not pretty, guys. It is. It's just, yeah. We're going to have to get ourselves another shower head, guys. Or I'm going to have to huh, build a whole nother stand-up shower. So, but anyways. All right. So that's going to be downstairs. Really nice. Cute. And uh, actually, the access to the backyard, which we are going to go here in a bit. Oh. Let me just show you guys the upstairs real quick. Ooh, look at this chandelier. Wow. Very, very nice. Beautiful chandelier. Got this really nice open game room set up here. Got these beautiful, nice modern railings. And then, you know, while the kids are hanging out over here, you know, you can, you know, see them from up here. Or I'm sorry, if the kids are hanging out downstairs, you're upstairs, you can, you know, easily access and talk to them and say, hey, kiddos, get down and get off the couches. You know, I don't know, guys. I'm just making stuff up right now. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. These videos are not scripted. They are straight up raw. So you get the most raws, you know, as raw as we can get. All right. So we got another little bedroom here, little Jacob's room. Got these really nice, cute pendant lighting there, which is pretty cool. Now, the, the neighborhood is a little bit dated. Uh, keep in mind, I think what the builders did is either A, they bought these lots a couple of years back, or B, they tore down an older house and they built this one. Um, but I think these lots might have just been acquired. But I'll tell you this much, guys. Lots are very hard to find in Frisco. Okay, you got a half bathroom here. Got this really nice tile all throughout. And tucked away over here. By the way, guys, I'm in my socks right now, and the carpet is so soft. All right, you got the little closet space here, coat rack, and then you got little Jesse's room here. Got those little nice modern light fixtures. I mean, I'm sorry, modern fan. And got a bathroom here, single vanity. 
quartz countertops. Now the bedrooms, the other additional bedrooms, I'm not gonna lie guys, they're a little tight, you know, for my taste, but rest assured guys. All right, you got a nice little stand-up shower, bathtub, toilet, you know. But as y'all can see, it's a little little tight, so we'll, you know, might have to put a queen size bed in there. Or maybe not a king, but got a nice little walk-in closet. And then you got another bedroom here, maybe for the abuela. But then again, guys, you know, if abuela's staying over, you cannot have her going up the stairs, y'all. Okay, hello, y'all. What's going on? Today is a festival day, guys. So I'm dressed up a little casual. Got a nice little walk-in closet there. And it is going to be a Jack and Jill. Wow, okay, I did not see that coming. So another towel closet here. And then, like I said, it is going to be that Jack and Jill here. So access to the other room. All right. And there you have it, my friends. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's property tour. Let me know what you guys think. And if, as always, my friends, if you guys are looking to move to the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area, north of Dallas, anywhere in Dallas or um, Fort Worth, we do have a type form or we have our website, www.nambarealtygroup.co, where you guys can go check us out. You guys can go um, view properties. You guys can make accounts. Um, typically we, you know, obviously follow up and reach out, but you know, if you guys just want to browse and see what's available in the market, then you guys can go on the website and, you know, now if you guys really officially, you know, like, Hey, Armando, you know what? I'm, I'm looking for a home, man. I don't, I don't want to go browsing. Then, uh, you guys can always reach out to our type form in the description as well. And as I was saying, guys, the lot size is not too, too big. So it is nice and cute. Nice little small lot. Um, so Anyways, guys, hopefully y'all enjoy. As always, my friends, y'all already know we got some good news headed your way. So you better hold on tight because it's about to get real, my friends. <laughs> John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. And all those that believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. My friends, there is an eternal home for you and for me, guys. These property tours are gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're nice. But what if I told you? Come on now. What if I told you that there was a home like none other? That, that there was a home that does not come to an end, but it is reserved for you and for me, guys. All right? It is a home. Let me repeat that one more time. That does not come to an end. All right? It is from everlasting to everlasting. And if we put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on that cross at Calvary, where he paid the ultimate price for sinners like us, guys, he will forgive us, he will redeem us, he will clothe us in righteousness, guys. And listen... I'm going to tell you this much, guys, is, you know, as we see the world <laughs> and it getting darker and darker, the gospel shines lighter and lighter, guys. It's, it's amazing to see how many people are coming to Christ, you know, in other parts of the world, you know, third world countries. I mean, in China and Korea, I mean, it's amazing to see just God working, guys. And it's not a coincidence that you're here watching this video right now because a lot of people, like, they don't expect this, right? They don't expect a property tour and all of a sudden some guy starts talking about Jesus. You know, usually it's just the property tour. Hey, you know, reach out if you're looking for a home. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. But no, guys, I want to leave y'all with something. Forget about working with me. I don't care. Like, that's, that's not the point. Whatever. You know, cool. Y'all want to work with us, whatnot. Okay, that's whatever. Forget about that. Let's focus about the gospel. That's the realness because that is everlasting, guys. The things we see on this earth, even our bodies, really think about it, they're temporal. They're only here for a moment's time, guys. From dust we were made and to dust we were turned, the Bible says, all right? And listen, when you accept Christ into your life, he will lead you, he will guide you. Remember, he is the good shepherd, my friends. Do you know why he is the good shepherd? Because we are his sheep. And sheep, they can't fend for themselves. They need a shepherd to protect them. And God, God Almighty, is there to protect you and me. Or he is the good shepherd. He is the prince of peace. He is the alpha and the omega, my friends. And today can be the day of salvation, guys. How awesome is that? Put your trust in Christ. Accept them today. And you will have everlasting life, my friends. And realistically, we never know when our last breath may be, guys. Especially the way people drive nowadays, man. It's crazy, guys. 
every day I think here in Dallas, like, man, I'll, I'll be driving and there's always a crash, man. And it's crazy. Every, almost every day, guys. And a lot of some of these people pass on to eternity, guys. That's why I put on that parachute, guys. That parachute is Christ. He loves you. Repent. Turn away from your sins. Trust in him. All right? When the Israelites were walking through the, through the desert, right? In the wilderness. Okay? And they were, they were mummering, right? The Bible says that they were mummering. They were complaining. A lot of them wanted to go back to Egypt. Like, oh, man, I, I want to be a slave again. It's all good. I want to go back to Egypt. They had good stuff, you know? But God is trying to set them free, my friends. And listen, the question is, are you going to be a, a, a slave to, to what the world has to offer, guys? Because realistically, what the world has to offer, <laughs> it's not here forever, guys. It's only for a temporary moment in time. You know? We're here for like that. So, like I said, guys, you guys can hold on to temporal. You can hold on to eternity, you know? Not to say we can't have nice things. That's not what I'm saying. But rest assured, guys, you know, you will hold on to eternity. And, you know, that's something that gives you hope. And the hope is the best thing ever, guys. You wake up every morning when you have a bad day. You know, you're just like, you know what, man? Things aren't going the right way, dude. But it's all good because, you know, one day, you know, one day, there will no, be no more sorrow. There will be no more tears. You know? All right, y'all. I got to go, man. Y'all got to gotta get some sleep. All right. God bless you and your family. Thank y'all for watching. Um, today, uh, the wifey and I didn't get on here, but uh, I wanted to just, you know, maybe do like an OG video kind of like talking to you guys in the backyard because, you know, that's when we, when we get real and personal. So anyways, guys, y'all take care. God bless you and your family. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.